Synthetic organic chemistry requires frequent use of gases such as carbon monoxide, hydrogen chloride, phosgene and argon. Most gases are conveniently supplied in small cylinders called lecture bottles. And as the contents are usually toxic or corrosive and pressurised, care is needed for reactions requiring gases. A simple setup is shown here. The cylinder is firmly clamped in an upright position with the joint between the main valve and control valve sealed with a lead or Teflon washer. Don't be tempted to over tighten this joint as the soft lead or Teflon may simply be squeezed out creating a potential leak. The cylinder is protected from accidental suck back of the reaction flask contents by a Dressel bottle which is deliberately connected the wrong way around. For comparison, the inset shows a Dressel bottle connected in the normal way. The gas is introduced into the reaction mixture via either a pipette, which is fine for small scale reactions, or a wider bore tube which may be better for larger scale work, and also if there is a possibility of blockage by a precipitate in the reaction mixture. A glass tube with a frit on the end may also be useful when saturating solvents with gases, as the frit helps to break up the gas into smaller bubbles for easier dissolution. It's important to prevent discharge of any gas from the reaction flask into the atmosphere. This is done by connecting one or more Dressel bottles containing a solution to neutralise or scrub any escaped vapours. Once again the first bottle is empty and connected the wrong way around to protect the reaction mixture from accidental suckback of the neutralising solution. The composition of these neutralising solutions varies according to the gas being used. Before passing gas into the reaction mixture, ensure that the control valve is fully turned off in a clockwise direction before opening the main valve anti-clockwise about a quarter of a turn. Carefully open the control valve in an anti-clockwise direction while observing the inlet tube in the reaction flask to achieve a controlled and gentle stream of gas through the mixture. Remember that considerable heat may be generated upon the passage of some gases such as hydrogen chloride through solvents such as alcohols and therefore a cooling bath may be necessary. Adjust the main and control valves as appropriate by small increments to maintain a steady flow of gas throughout the reaction period. As the gas is dispensed it's quite usual for the cylinder to become cold. At the end of the reaction it's a good idea to turn off the main valve first in a clockwise direction and then allow any remaining gas to finish bubbling through the reaction mixture before turning off the control valve. This avoids trapping a small quantity of pressurised gas in the valve head which will be released upon disassembly of the apparatus. When the lecture bottle is no longer required, disconnect it and remove the control valve. Replace the dust cover on the main valve and clean the control valve thoroughly by dismantling it and washing the components with a suitable solvent and allowing it to dry before reassembly. Failure to do this will result in a very short life for the valve, especially when corrosive gases such as hydrogen chloride are used. Some lecture bottles require a spanner to open the main valve, as shown in the second small demonstration. Excessive force should not be necessary, and if a cylinder is jammed, return it to the stores for disposal.